Hey everyone, and welcome back for another save file residence overview. And we are concentrating on the Winslar neighborhood in Windenburg. This neighborhood is a pretty big one. There are 26 Sims in all, I counted. So it's going to be a pretty long episode, a pretty long video, much longer than the last one. But before we get into that, today's video was supposed to be a 70 Legacy, but with the new expansion pack coming out and the patch, I decided that this was a good time to start clearing out some of the mods that I don't use, some of the CC that I don't use. I have will be going through all of that and, and clearing out some of my mods folder. And in doing so, I'm going to have bald sims and empty rooms in some of the houses for the the two let's plays that i'm doing on this channel so i'm going to take the weekend to fix both of those saves so we will can be get back to normal next week anyway with all of that out of the way let's just hop into this because we have a lot of sims to go over and we are starting with the marshall family luke and lana are happily married with four children lily lacy and twins lucas and liam Lana is a stay-at-home mom and loves it. She would like to become friends with other women with toddlers or maybe even start up a mommy and me group. And this is the Marshall's house. This is the first floor. You have uh, an entryway, a living room, dining room, a kitchen, and a bathroom. And upstairs you have the bedrooms. You have Luke and Lana's room, Lily's room, Lacey's room, and the twins, Lucas and Liam. This is Luke. And he wants to have a big happy family, although I think he's well on his way. For his career, he is a pastry chef in the culinary career, which is level 7 of the chef branch. For his skills, he is level 1 in charisma, level 6 in logic and baking, and level 8 in parenting. And he has maxed mixology, gourmet cooking, and home style cooking. For his traits, he is family oriented, loves the outdoors, and a foodie and he has the domestic aspiration trait for likes and dislikes for music he likes retro and americana and dislikes island for hobbies and skills he likes fishing and cooking and dislikes baking for conversation topics he likes stories and affection and dislikes deception for sim characteristics he likes family motivated sims and nature enthusiasts and he dislikes ambitionless sims and his favorite colors are yellow and blue and he dislikes purple and he is not part of any clubs. So we will move on to his wife, Lana. And this is Lana. And she wants to be a super parent. She just wants to be the best possible mom she can be. She's a stay-at-home mom. And for her skills, she is level 1 in charisma, level 7 in gardening, gourmet cooking, and baking. She's level 6 in logic, level 9 in parenting, and she has maxed mixology and home style cooking. For her traits, she is family oriented, outgoing, and neat, and she has the domestic aspiration trait. For likes and dislikes, for hobbies and skills, she likes writing and singing and dislikes mixology. For music, she likes singer songwriter and easy listening, and she dislikes electronica. For conversation topics, she likes compliments and affection and dislikes potty humor. For sim characteristics, she likes family-motivated sims and spirited sims and dislikes egotistical sims. And her favorite colors are green and pink and she dislikes brown. And she is the leader of the Moms with Toddlers. Next up is Lily. This is Lily and she wants to be a friend of the world. She is a C student in high school and she is also works as a sales floor clerk in the part -time, retail part-time job which is level two for her skills she is level one in comedy and level one in charisma for her traits she is cheerful and outgoing and she has the gregarious aspiration trait for likes and dislikes for music she likes pop and summer strut and she dislikes spooky music for hobbies and skills she likes photography and video games and dislikes fishing her favorite colors are blue and pink and she dislikes brown for sim characteristics, she likes optimistic sims and spirited sims and dislikes rascals. And for conversation topics, she likes small talk and jokes and dislikes malicious interactions. And she is part of the study club. Next up is Lacey. And this is Lacey. And she is a lot like her big sister. She wants to be a social butterfly. She likes making new friends friends and stuff as well. They're just a very social family, I think. She is a C student in grade school. For her skills, she's level one in motor, which she's gaining right now, so it might not be the same in your game, and level one in charisma. For her traits, she is good, and for likes and dislikes, for hobbies and skills, she likes video gaming and bowling and dislikes fishing. For music, she likes tween pop and kids radio and dislikes blues. 
For conversation topics, she likes affection and dislikes malicious interactions. For sim characteristics, she likes optimistic sims and dislikes rascals. And her favorite colors are blue and purple, and she dislikes red, and she is not part of any clubs. So next up is Liam. I would think that he would be the younger of the two twins because Lucas, I, f I feel like they would name the firstborn son Lucas because it's close to Luke. But anyway, for his skills, he's level one in movement and one in communication. For his trait, he is clingy. And that is all for Liam. Next up is Lucas, his twin brother. This is Lucas. For his skill, he is level one in communication, and for his trait, he is a charmer. To be completely honest, this is a pretty mundane and boring household. There's not a lot of drama going there, going on, which there always can be. I mean, you, you can always make drama, right? Anyway, that is the Marshall household. We will move on to the next household. Next up is the Lockwood family. This ambitious, food-obsessed Sim is Tara. She aspires to one day be a master chef and maybe even pen a few cookbooks. She's outgoing and loves being around people, especially when she's cooking for them. And this is the Lockwood house. And if you watch my 70 Legacy, this house will be very familiar to you because this is where Autumn and Stefan and, and the whole family live right now. You have the kitchen and the living room. And on the second floor, you have Tara's room and an office and a bathroom. So let's meet Tara. This is Tara. And I don't know why she is in her formal wear, but okay. And like the description said, she wants to be a master chef. She just wants to know every recipe and know how to cook anything she wants to cook. And she also enjoys entertaining and having dinner parties. For her career, she is an assistant dishwasher, which is level one in the culinary career. For her skills, she is level one in charisma, level three in cooking. For her traits, she is outgoing, a foodie, and ambitious, and she has the essence of flavor aspiration trait. For likes and dislikes, for hobbies and skills, she likes mixology and cooking and dislikes robotics. For music, she likes DJ Booth and hip hop and dislikes retro. Her favorite colors are yellow and green, and she dislikes brown. For sim characteristics, she likes hardworking sims and family motivated sims and dislikes ambitionless sims. And for conversation topics, she likes compliments and jokes and dislikes complaints. And she is part of the Windenburg Singles. And that is Tara, so we will move on to the next household. Next up is the Prescott family. After being evicted from his apartment for not paying his rent, Corey had to move in with his brother Carter. The problem is they couldn't be more different. Corey is a party animal that likes to spend most of his time at the nightclub either dancing, DJing, or trying to pick up a sim to take home for the night. Carter is an ambitious family man. Vivian worries about what kind of example Corey is setting for Skylar and Savannah with his party boy ways. And this is the Prescott house. And this is the first floor. You have the, uh, an entry hallway, living room, uh, office, bathroom, kitchen and dining room. And upstairs you have the bedrooms. You have Corey's room, Vivian and Carter's room, Savannah's room, and Skylar's room and bathrooms, of course. So let's meet the family. And this is Carter. He is the dad of the family and the oldest brother to Corey. And for his aspiration, he wants to have a successful lineage. He just wants his kids to do well and not follow in the footsteps of his younger brother. He works as a public official in the politician career, which is level six. I'm not sure if he's passed the branch selection part uh, level or not. I haven't really played the politician career very much, if at all. I'm not a big fan of it. For his skills, he is level five in parenting, and he has maxed charisma and logic. For his traits, he is family-oriented, neat, and ambitious, and he has the domestic aspiration trait. For likes and dislikes, for hobbies and skills, he likes fitness and bowling and dislikes DJ mixing. For music, he likes classical and easy listening and he dislikes DJ booth. His favorite colors are black and gray and he dislikes orange. For sim characteristics, he likes hardworking sims and family motivated sims and he dislikes ambitionless sims. For conversation topics, he likes small talk and compliments and dislikes malicious interactions. And he is part of the Future World Leaders Mentors. Next up is Vivian Prescott, his wife. She wants to have a successful lineage as well. Both her and Carter, just their biggest fear is for their kids turning out like Corey. She works as a child chaser, which is level four of the critic career food critic branch. 
For her skills, she's level one in charisma, level five in gourmet cooking, level seven in homestyle cooking and parenting. For her traits, she is family oriented, a snob, and a foodie, and she has the domestic aspiration trait. For likes and dislikes, for hobbies and skills, she likes cooking and piano and dislikes dancing. For music, she likes classical and jazz and dislikes DJ Booth. For conversation topics, she likes compliments and deep thoughts and dislikes pranks. For sim characteristics, she likes egotistical sims and family motivated sims and dislikes argumentative sims. And her favorite colors are black and white and she dislikes brown. And she is part of the Foodies Unite Club. Next up is Carter's younger brother, Corey. And this is Corey and his aspiration is he wants to be a party animal. He just loves going to parties, throwing parties, spending all of his time at the nightclub. He doesn't have a job. He is level one in charisma. For his traits, he is self-assured, outgoing, and a dance machine. And he also has the gregarious aspiration trait. For likes and dislikes, for music, he likes alternative and DJ booth music and dislikes classical. For hobbies and skills, he likes dancing and mixology and dislikes fishing. His favorite colors are black and blue and he dislikes brown. For sim characteristics, he likes high energy sims and spirited sims and dislikes homebody sims. And for conversation topics, he likes physical intimacy and flirtation and he dislikes deep thoughts. And he is part of the Windenburg singles and that is all. Next up is Carter's and Vivian's son, Skylar. Skylar wants to be fabulously wealthy. He, he doesn't care how he gets the money, but he, he wants to be rich. He wants to be rich and famous. He is a C student in high school, and for his skills, he is level one in charisma. For his traits, he is outgoing and active, and he has the business savvy aspiration trait. For likes and dislikes, for music, he likes DJ Booth and Electronica and dislikes kids radio. For hobbies and skills, he likes dancing and fitness and dislikes bowling. His favorite colors are red and black, and he dislikes brown. For sim characteristics, he likes high-energy sims and nature enthusiasts, and he dislikes egotistical sims. And for conversation topics, he likes flirtation and silly behavior and dislikes complaints. And he is part of the Future World Leaders, and that is all. And last but not least is Savannah. Savannah wants to be a social butterfly. She is a C student in grade school. For her skills, she's level one in motor, which she is just now gaining, and level one in charisma. For her traits, she is outgoing. For likes and dislikes, for hobbies and skills, she likes photography and video gaming and dislikes fishing. For music, she likes tween pop and kids radio, and she dislikes hip hop. For conversation topics, she likes jokes and dislikes arguments. For sim characteristics, she likes spirited sims and dislikes homebody sims. And her favorite colors are green and pink, and she dislikes red. And she is part of the Future World Leaders Club as well. That is the Prescott family. So we will move on to the next household. Next up is the Green family. Sophie is a young single mom. She's had to raise her daughter Piper mostly on her own. While she does have help from her parents and her best friend Jillian, Sophie wishes Piper's father, Jack, would step up. Will she ever convince him to be the father to Piper she deserves? This is the Green house. Well, not the greenhouse, but this is the home of the greens. So let's take a little peek inside. This is the first floor. You have a living room, kitchen, um, open floor plan. You come in into the entryway and there's a bathroom. And then upstairs are the bedrooms. You have one bathroom. You have Sophie's room and Piper's room. So let's meet the family. This is Sophie. She is the daughter of ronald and angela and willow creek sophie wants a big happy family right now it's just her and piper she was a teen mom she works as a beat reporter in the critic career which is level three for her skills she is level one in mischief comedy video gaming fitness charisma and singing she's level three in writing logic homestyle cooking and handiness and that is all for her traits she is outgoing a foodie and ambitious and she has the domestic aspiration trait for likes and dislikes for music she likes lullabies and pop music and dislikes electronica for hobbies and skills she likes photography and cooking and dislikes mixology her favorite colors are blue and pink and she dislikes brown for sim characteristics she likes family motivated sims and spirited sims and dislikes ambitionless sims and for conversation topics, she likes small talk and affection and dislikes deception. And she is part of the Foodies Unite and the Windenburg Singles. This is Piper and she has no skills. And for her trait, she is a charmer. And that is all. And that is the Green Household. We will move on to the next household. 
Next up is the biggest household in this neighborhood, and it is the Goldman family. Barbara couldn't have children, so she and her husband adopted Sherry. Being a foster child herself, Sherry knew she wanted to be a mom, but instead of having biological children, she wanted to adopt. She wanted to pass on the love her mom gave her. Now Sherry and her husband Douglas are foster parents. Barbara moved in after her husband passed because she wanted to be closer to Sherry. Life is chaotic for this full house, but couldn't be more loving. And this is the Goldman's house. Let's give you a peek inside. I will have to remember to show you the garage. This is the first floor. You have a huge kitchen, decent sized dining room, an office, laundry room, bathroom, entryway, living room. It's on the second floor are the bedrooms, of course. And you have Sherry's and Douglas's room here. This is Barbara's room. Um, the twins, I always forget their name, Matthew, Matthew and Andrew's room, Molly's room, Malachi's room, and Ashley's room. And this is the backyard, pretty decent sized garden with a little garden shed. And over here you have the garage, which is kind of Ashley's hangout spot for her friends, for her and her friends. They like to play music and she's thinking of starting up a band. So she has a DJ booth and all of that. We are going to start with Barbara. This is Barbara and she wants to be a master chef. She loves to cook. She doesn't have a career. She, I like to think that she is retired for her skills. She is level one in charisma and comedy, maxed gardening, gourmet cooking, home style cooking, logic, and parenting. For her traits, she is family oriented, neat, and a foodie, and she has the essence of flavor aspiration trait, and she also has the fear of death, as most elders do. Her likes and dislikes for music, she likes retro and Americana, and dislikes electronica. For hobbies and skills, she likes baking and photography, and dislikes DJ mixing. Her favorite colors are yellow and gray, and she dislikes red. For sim characteristics, she likes hard-working sims and family-motivated sims, and she dislikes pessimistic sims. For conversation topics, she likes discussing interests and affection and dislikes potty humor. And she is part of the Young at Heart Club, which we talked about before. Next up is her daughter, Sherry. And Sherry wants to be a super parent. She just wants to be the best mom, either a foster mom or adoptive mom, as possible. She doesn't work. She is a stay-at-home mom. For her skills, she is level one in charisma, level five in home style cooking, logic, and parenting. For her traits, she is family oriented, good, and cheerful, and she has the domestic aspiration trait. For likes and dislikes, for music, she likes singer-songwriter and easy listening, and dislikes spooky music. For hobbies and skills, she likes handiness and writing, and dislikes DJ mixing. For conversation topics, she likes compliments and affection, and dislikes gossip. For sim characteristics, she likes optimistic sims and family motivated sims, and she dislikes likes pessimistic sims and her favorite colors are yellow and pink and she dislikes brown and she is not part of any clubs so we will move on to her husband Douglas and I'm pretty sure that Douglas actually works with Autumn or has worked with Autumn his aspiration is Renaissance sim he works as a doctor general practitioner uh, in the doctor career which is level seven for his skills he is level five in handiness and parenting and has level 10 in charisma and logic for his traits he is family oriented ambitious and a genius and he has the quick learner aspiration trait for likes and dislikes for hobbies and skills he likes rock climbing and rocket science and dislikes dancing for music he likes world music and classical and dislikes hip-hop for conversation topics, he likes deep thoughts and affection and dislikes malicious interactions. For sim characteristics, he likes cerebral sims and family motivated sims and he dislikes ambitionless sims. And his favorite colors are blue and green and he dislikes purple. And he is part of the Young Einstein's Mentors. Next up is Ashley Wells. She is the oldest of the foster children. For her aspiration, she wants to be the friend of the world. She just wants to make many friends. And she is a, high, a C student in high school. For her skills, she's level one in charisma. For her traits, she is clumsy, a music lover, and she has the gregarious aspiration trait. For likes and dislikes, for hobbies and skills, she likes guitar and singing and dislikes DJ mixing. For music, she likes classical and S-pop and dislikes DJ booth. For conversation topics, she likes silly behavior and affection, and she dislikes pranks. For sim characteristics, she likes idealistic sims and homebody sims and dislikes argumentative sims and rascals. And her favorite colors are black and purple, and she dislikes orange. And she is part of the Young Virtuosos. Next up is Molly Cho. 
and she wants to be an artistic prodigy. She is a C student in grade school, and she is also a llama scout. For her skills, she's level one in charisma. For her traits, she is outgoing. For likes and dislikes, for hobbies and skills, she likes photography and video gaming and dislikes mischief. For music, she likes tween pop and kids radio and dislikes strange tunes. For conversation topics, she likes affection and dislikes gossip. For sim characteristics, she likes spirited sims and dislikes rascals. Her favorite colors are blue and purple and she dislikes orange. And she is part of the Winnenberg Scouts and that is all. Next up is Malachi Miller. He wants to be a social butterfly. He is a C student in grade school and he is also a llama scout. He is, for his skills, he is level one in motor. For his trait, he is a geek. For likes and dislikes, for hobbies and skills, he likes mischief and video gaming and dislikes fitness. For music, he likes electronica and kids radio and dislikes Americana. For conversation topics, he likes deep thoughts and dislikes small talk. For sim characteristics, he likes cerebral sims and dislikes ambitionless sims. And his favorite colors are yellow and black and he dislikes orange. And he is part of the Young Einsteins and also the Windenburg Scouts. Next up are the twins. This is Matthew Waters, and for his skills, he is level one in movement, which he is just now gaining, and he also is wild, and that is all for Matthew, and this is his twin brother, Andrew. He is level one in movement as well, and he has the clingy trait. That is the Goldman household. We will move on to the final household. And finally, the final household. These are the Hensleys. Mom Eleanor owns the vet clinic in Windenburg. Her husband, Houston, is a chef. Together, they have two kids, Hudson, who loves the outdoors and wants to explore the jungle. Nora is a social butterfly and cat lover. She loves working at the clinic with her mom. Even though she really doesn't do much but clean the litter pans and fill the food bowls, she still gets to socialize with the pet owners, and more importantly, the pets. And this is the Hensley's house. This is the first floor. You have a kitchen, a living room, an entryway, a formal living room, and you have a laundry room. And on the second floor, you have the bedrooms, Houston and Eleanor's room. Um, they have like their own little private office. And then you have Nora's room and Hudson's room. So let's meet the family. This is Eleanor. And like it said in the description, she owns the vet hospital in Windenburg, which we will get to after we look at this household. But anyway, she wants to be a friend of the animals. Um, I gave her a custom career. She's a veterinarian. She works at the, owns the clinic. For her skills, she is level one in fitness and charisma, level seven in home style, cooking, logic, and parenting, level eight in the veterinarian skill, and she has maxed pet training. For her traits, she is clumsy, family-oriented, and a dog lover, and she has the animal affection aspiration trait. For likes and dislikes, for music, she likes classical and singer-songwriter and dislikes electronica. For hobbies and skills, she likes baking and wellness and dislikes fitness. Her favorite colors are yellow and blue, and she dislikes brown. For sim characteristics, she likes family-motivated sims and pet enthusiasts and dislikes rascals. And for conversation topics, she likes small talk and affection and dislikes malicious interactions. And she is not part of any club, so we will move on to her husband, Houston. This is Houston. He wants to be a master chef. He loves cooking. He's basically the main cook in the household because Eleanor is usually at the clinic a lot of the day, so... He tries to prep a lot of meals. He works as an executive chef in the culinary career, which is level nine of the chef branch. For his skills, he is level one in charisma, level four in gourmet cooking, level seven in handiness, logic, and parenting, and he has maxed home style cooking. For his traits, he is family oriented, a foodie, and romantic, and he has the essence of flavor aspiration trait. For likes and dislikes, for hobbies and skills, he likes gardening and cooking and dislikes mixology. For music, he likes alternative and romance music, and he dislikes baroque music. His favorite colors are red and green, and he dislikes pink. For sim characteristics, he likes family motivated sims and nature enthusiasts, and he dislikes ambitionless sims. For conversation topics, he likes physical intimacy and affection, and he dislikes deception. He is part of the Foodies Unite Club, and that is all. Next up is their son, Hudson. 
for his aspiration, he wants to be a jungle explorer. He's just adventurous. I don't know if I gave him the adventurous, adventurous trait because I made him long before Snowy Escape. He is a C student in high school and he also is a llama scout. For his skill, he is level one in charisma. For his traits, he loves the outdoors, he's active, and he has the collector aspiration trait. For likes and dislikes, for music, he likes hip-hop and backyard music and dislikes tween pop. For hobbies and skills, he likes fishing and fitness and dislikes painting. His favorite colors are blue and green, and he dislikes brown. For sim characteristics, he likes high-energy sims and nature enthusiasts, and he dislikes homebody sims. And for conversation topics, he likes discussing interests and compliments, and he dislikes complaints. And he is part of the Windenburg Scouts, and that is all. Next up is his little sister, Nora. She wants to be a social butterfly. She is a C student in grade school and also a llama scout. For her skills, she's level 1 in motor and level 1 in charisma. For her traits, she is a cat lover. For likes and dislikes, for hobbies and skills, she likes dancing and video gaming and dislikes fishing. For music, she likes tween pop and kids radio and dislikes electronica. Her favorite colors are yellow and purple and she dislikes orange. For sim characteristics, she likes pet enthusiasts and dislikes rascals. And for conversation topics, she likes small talk and deep thoughts and she dislikes prank. And she is part of the Windenburg Scouts and that is all. And here are the family pets. You have Ash they're husky. I don't remember giving him the spiked collar. And then you have Tabby, their cat. That is the Hensley household. And now I will show you the pet hospital. And this is the Windenburg pet hospital. And this is the outside. We will start with the first floor. You have the waiting area, the bathrooms, and two exam, exam rooms. On the second floor, you have a couple more, a few more exam rooms and a couple surgery rooms. You have a little apartment with an outside seating area and a grilling area. Just in case um, Eleanor needs to stay late and work on making some treats or something like that, or she's just too tired to go home, she has a place to crash for the night. That is the pet hospital. And those are the households of Winslar neighborhood in Windenburg. I guess that is all from me for now. If you like this video, give it a like. If you want to see more, subscribe, and I will talk to y'all later. Thanks for watching. Bye!